welcome to the channel. This is my Fremont built 2022 Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive with the 60 kilowatt hour LFP pack. I wanted to share how it's holding up after two years and almost 110,000 miles. This video will mainly focus on the battery because there are plenty of older Model 3s with this mileage, so things like interior wear and whatnot are more widely documented, but there aren't too many LFP cars with high mileage since they're still pretty new. So aesthetically, the car is still in pretty good shape. Headlights are still perfect. Uh, they are a little bit pitted from all the highway driving as to be expected. Uh, some chips here and there, no big deal. Can't notice them from a couple feet away. And yeah, overall, the car still looks pretty much brand new. So just a little bit of context, this car has been used a ton for rideshare in Texas. So tons of DC charging in a hot climate and tons of harder city miles. Um, I've also road tripped the car all over the US, Montana, Florida, Virginia, Illinois. It's been basically everywhere. And next summer, I'll be taking it up to Alaska as well. So this car originally came with the 18 inch aero wheels, but I've replaced the covers with some faux Uber turbine style covers, which have slightly improved the highway efficiency, but I also just think they look much nicer. I'm also running Hankook Ion Evo all season tires, which are fitted with acoustic foam and are noticeably quieter than my previous tires. I measured about three decibel reduction at 70 miles an hour. They're also wearing extremely well. Um, when the tires were new, they had about 10, 30 seconds of an inch of tread, but after almost 15,000 miles of driving, they still have about 9, 30 seconds of an inch of tread. That's been a ton of cross country driving back and forth though. So of course, tires are going to wear more slowly. Um, but based on that, it seems like I might be able to get a hundred thousand miles out of these tires if the conditions remain the same, which is awesome. So as far as maintenance and repairs go, they've been basically non-existent. The drivetrain is original, of course, and the car hasn't been to Tesla for anything. The only maintenance I've done has been refilling the washer fluid, and I replaced the cabin air filter a couple months ago at about 92,000 miles. No squeaks or rattles from the suspension, despite tons of city driving. And I also drive the car on a ton of washboard roads when I'm on road trips, so the fact that it's held up so well is pretty impressive. So now on to the battery. So this car has done a little over 22 megawatt hours of DC charging in its life, and just shy of 8 megawatt hours of AC charging. The most recent proper capacity test I did was at about 106,000 miles, when I was returning from a 10,000 mile cross country road trip, I cycled from 100 to 2% state of charge, drove 308 miles and averaged 173 watt hour per mile. So from 100 to 0%, I would have been able to pull about 54 and a half kilowatt hours. The car originally had a net capacity of 57 and a half kilowatt hours. So that means this car only has about 5% degradation after almost 110,000 miles and tons and tons of DC charging, which is really impressive. So if we look at the data from the 55 kilowatt hour Gen 1 LFP pack, which is the same cell, just fewer modules, those are over three years old now. And both the 30,000 mile examples as well as the 150,000 mile examples all seem to have about the same 5 to 6% degradation. So it seems like the only real factor here is the age of the pack. I feel like we've been taught with NMC that we need to baby the batteries, you know, try not to charge much above 80% state of charge regularly, try not to let it get too low, don't DC charge too much, etc. Whereas with LFP, you can basically just use it like an ICE vehicle, you know, fully charge as much as you want, full drain it as much as you want, especially given that it has full power at single digit state of charge, uh, fast charge all the time, and the packs will degrade exactly the same regardless of how you use them, which I think is pretty awesome. So after two years and 110,000 miles, this battery still charges just as well as a new one would, still puts out full power even at like 2% state of charge and it just really hasn't shown its age at all despite all the usage so i'd like to thank you all so much for watching 
and I'll see you again at 200,000 miles.